Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today I am reviewing the Elite Series 2 controller and so far I had it for about two weeks and I think it's a really good controller. So the Elite Series 2 comes in this very hold on. So it comes in this very oh, let me turn on my lighting. There we go. Alright, it comes in this very nice looking case, this uh cloth hard shell um case you know very premium um you know it has this charging port in the back of it so you can charge your uh um the controller it has a wireless charger i'll show you that when i um open the case up but it's a very nice quality case you know i got the nice xbox logo it's very quality now i'm gonna show you guys the inside of it now we have the Elite controller right here. My camera is not focusing, but here is the Elite controller itself. It comes with this very nice cable. I have it wrapped up. Um, you can put it up here and it close, everything closes perfectly fine. So, you know, that's a nice touch. You can put everything in here. Um, here's the controller itself. We'll get onto that in a minute. And here's all the accessories you get in the case. So you have the hybrid D-pad. Uh, I actually like this more than the D-pad that I have on now. I'm just using it because um, I want to try it out, use it some more. But you know, um, that's comes with two D-pads. Comes with a Xbox 360 stick. Comes with the two normal sticks. One, this one I believe is the long stick. So I'll show you how that works in just a minute. This is the tension key which you can use to tighten up the um, thumbsticks and make it tighter. So here is the um, charging dock. It is magnetic, so it, you can take it out the case, um, plug it up USB-C, you can have it sitting on your desk, and you can connect your controller to it. Pretty straightforward if you ask me. It's I haven't really charged the controller up yet because it has that 40 hour battery life that lasts forever. So, you know, don't really need this yet. But, uh, you know, it just connects in there magnetically. And uh, I, that's everything in the case. I don't feel like taking out the cable, but it's just this nice braided cable, USB-C cable. Very nice, if you ask me. Now, we can move on to the controller. Here is the Xbox Elite controller. And this controller is, it's so premium. It feels great. It got these nice textured uh, rubber grips and the um, entire face plates like this matte rubber finish it's even on the back um, more on that later but you know it's a very nice material and also I forgot to mention this is, this is one of the other oh God, this is one of the other sticks it comes with this dome type um, thumb stick and I really enjoy this one it, it has good grip on it it feels nice it also has these rings that goes around it for, I think it's anti-friction rings. I forgot what they're called exactly, but, you know, very smooth, you guys. It feels very nice, very premium. You know, everything, the buttons, everything feels good. A lot of people say this controller is, like, not the greatest, but um, they'd be having problems, right? Stick drift right out of the box. But, you know, for me, I don't have any issues, and I brought mine's used like new, so off of Amazon for like $120. So, you know, I feel bad for those people, but uh, so far, so good. You know, um, and you have the magnetic thumb sticks, which comes out and I can switch it with the hybrid D-pad. Let me show you how that looks. So you got the hybrid D-pad right there. So, you know, plenty of customization options. And here is one of the longer sticks this is the long stick i think this gives you better aim i think but you can take it off from here you just connect it here personally i don't use this but um if it's there for if you like having longer sticks more so like if you have something like a control freak then uh you can use this instead of using the control freak you know you got the xbox 360 thumb sticks which is very smooth now, this is how you can make the, you can basically make this Xbox 360 controller, you can make the tightness an Xbox 360 controller. So that tension key that I told you guys about, you take off the thumbstick, 
And then you see there's this screw thing, which you tighten up. So turn it this way, and now it's extremely loose, it's very loose. And then if you turn it to the right, you get, this is um, like it's in the middle of very tight and um, loose. And then you have the tightest setting and that is the Xbox 360 setting. So you have it like an Xbox One, Xbox 360, or the middle of both. So, you know, very nice controller. The fact that you can do that. But the fact that it gives you that customization option is very nice. You know, you have plenty of options. Now, let me show you guys the back of the controller. Now, you here, you have the trigger stops. So you have three stops. This is the longest pull. You see it goes down that far. And you have in the middle, that far, and all the way down, which is very good for first person, third person, more so FPS shooters. And it's on both sides. So you can have two small trigger stops. And then you have your back paddles, P1, 2, 3, and 4. That's, um, you know, <laughs> Pretty self-explanatory paddle one two three and four they all are inter inter interchangeable so you, so you got the smaller one then you have this uh bigger one and you can all you can just switch it around if you want you know you put on this side or, or actually well you could put it like right here and if you want you can have this here so yeah it's all just personal preference which you want personally i use all four i remap Basically, I'm, I play more, I play Fortnite more so, so, um, I have, um, I believe this one's jump, no, so I have this one jump, reload, build, and edit, so, you know, it, that helps with my Fortnite, it helps a lot, and boy, I come from a normal controller, so playing on a normal controller and getting used to this, it takes a little bit of time to get used to pressing these back paddles. But you know, um, when you do get used to it, it is pretty nice to use. And they're very easy to use. Then you have the 40 hour battery life right here. So you know, um, don't have to take out, take off the cover and replace the batteries. You just plug it up right here. Plug it up, I mean, plug it up right here or uh, take your charging dock and put it right here you can charge it in the case by the way too which i told you guys actually but you know it's uh, it's a very nice controller so yeah i just wanted to basically make a review off of this controller showing you guys that i got it and my personal thoughts on this controller and i think it's a really good controller i'm gonna see if the people have it for like one month and they say that they have a problem so i'm gonna see if that's really true so i'm gonna um let me know in the comments if you guys got one of these controllers and let me know what you guys think and if you have any problems on these controllers so thank you guys so much for watching um make sure to like subscribe and comment and stay tuned for more of my other videos there.